Hey Panda families. Well, the first quarter is about over. I just thought I'd take a few minutes to give you a quick update on how things were going here at East Point Academy. First of all, academically, our students are doing well. The parents, if your students are struggling, your teachers will be uh, talking to you real soon if they haven't already. I would say as a school, our students are really gaining steam. The year started kind of crazy, this idea that they had to wear masks and they'd been out of school for a long time. It really took some time for students to kind of get used to school again, but I'm seeing more and more students uh, really engaged and really working hard in school and our teachers are telling us that students are moving much more quickly than they were at the beginning of the school year so great job uh, for our off-campus students I have to tell you as a as a group you need to stay a little bit more focused uh, you need to turn in your work so if you're off-campus parent please make sure your students are staying engaged I know it's harder off campus and that they're turning in their work on time into a great standard all parents if you're not, please read with your student every night. It's so important. Even the older students, let them read, read with them, ask them a little bit about what they read so that you can ensure they have good comprehension. That skill of reading and reading comprehension will take students so, so far and also practice your Mandarin. For COVID, um, boy, I tell you, like the world, it continues to get worse and worse every day. Um, we're doing well at our school. Uh, we've been keeping you super informed. We're gonna be transparent as always about everything that's going on inside or outside of our school as far as COVID. But with the rise in America, we've seen a rise in secondary exposure. We've had students or staff members that have been exposed to somebody with COVID. So we're gonna let you know if that impacts any of your children. We really need your help in a couple of areas. One, we're doing a good job here at school of practicing our protocols. We'd ask that as much as you can in your family situation that you would also practice those protocols. Hand washing, physically distancing, disinfecting, it's gonna just really save your student and your family from getting sick. So practice that protocols away from school just like the students would here as best you can. Also, super important, if your child is sick, do not send them to school. Unfortunately, we've had some parents that have sent their ch children to, to school with a fever. Please don't do that. We don't want to endanger any other students on our campus. Um, we know that one single intervention is not going to solve this problem. So that's why we have multiple interventions here. We have hand washing stations and disinfecting and physical distancing and complete disinfecting of, of rooms and separating kids in, in the cafeteria and recess and so forth. So we're asking you to think about the Swiss cheese approach as well at home, that you use multiple interventions. You know, hand washing by itself, it may not work. Hand washing uh, and mask may not work, but hand washing mask and physically distance combined will really make a difference and keep you safe. And that's our goal. We wanna break the chain here at East Point Academy. We wanna make sure that our students stay safe and healthy. So help us with the Swiss cheese approach. I'm so proud of our students. I'm so proud of our teachers. East Point is an amazing place and we're doing a great, great job. Many of you saw we were ranked as a top charter school in South Carolina and the top 4% of all schools in America. We're so proud of that. And that's a testament to our teachers, to our students, and even to you parents. You do such a wonderful job. So we're doing a great job of adapting and overcoming here at East Point Academy. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or concern. And remember to be nice and work hard.